Hey folks, last week we talked about the if we should discipline our children, which the context of that was mainly being more concerned of our child's heart than jumping through somebody else's hoops. Uh, this week we transition to the second part of that equation, that is the when. When should we discipline our children? Matthew 24, 25 has a tremendous verse on this issue, and it says that when the wise steward of the house, placed there by the master, uh, is supposed to give the proper amount of food at the proper time, the what or how, along with the right timing. Now, in God's economy, those two work together. You can do it right, but at the wrong time and have devastating results, or do it at the right time in the wrong way and have equally devastating results. So the how and the when need to join together. So when is the time to discipline our children? Well, one thing to consider is this, that we need to discipline our kids when they're by themselves with us alone. In other words, don't do it in front of other people. Because what that does, that does not discipline, that embarrasses. Now, I've seen some parents who use it as a, a technique, a, a manipulation to embarrass their, chi their child or children. Folks, the, the wrath of man will not produce the righteousness of God. So we want to be respectful in how we discipline our kids. Even when they're younger, they understand this. Uh, now, this presents some problems because when our children are younger, the, the discipline needs to be applied pretty quickly to the action. Otherwise, you know, 10 minutes later, they forget about it. You can't wait four hours till dad gets home with her two or three, but that time it's, it's water under the bridge. But I'm talking mainly here about, you know, the time our kids get to be seven or eight, they're starting to converse back and forth. We need to teach them how to work through conflict, not just get the right behavior, but help them through the process of learning that. And that, again, starts with being by themselves. We don't want to do it in front of the other siblings either, even. I mean, how often is it, you know, women are frustrated, men are angry. I don't know what the difference there is, but there's a difference there, supposedly. And we just shoot our kids a, a dagger of a look or a harsh word, maybe grab them by an arm when we shouldn't have done that, or at least quite that hard. And what we do, we embarrass. And that's not what we're after. So we need to wait for the proper time, which is when we have a chance to be with a child by ourselves. The second uh, timing is when we actually have time to do it right. Uh, sometimes I've had to wait, you know, and tell my kids, well, we'll talk about this later. And again, we need to follow up later because otherwise our word's no good. But sometimes, lots going on. If you try to come in there as judge, jury, and executioner, you may get the right problem, you may get the right person, or you may just mess everything up. The Bible says to get the facts at any price. Now, we understand that legally, but it's also true parentally. We need to understand what's going on, why did it happen, was it rebellion, was it an accident, was it uh, a curiosity? We need to get the facts at any cost. Similarly, if there's two siblings that have been at with each other, maybe bickering, the Bible says that one sounds good until the other comes and examines him. So we have to take time to discipline our kids. Discipline, it, it takes time. We can't rush through that. But, oh my, how many times I've done that. We've got to take time to get to the root of the issue because that's the root of life itself. So secondly, we need to wait till we have proper time to discuss the problems with our child, and that's also true on the backside. If we've had to administer some type of discipline, one of the greatest times to engage our child is after they've been disciplined because their heart is open. Just like when the God, Heavenly Father chastens us as His children, our heart's more open, we're humble. It's a great time to follow up. So again, number one, uh, we want to wait till they're by themselves. Number two, when we have enough time to do it properly. Number three, we need to wait until the emotions are deflated. The Bible says to be quick to hear and slow to speak. But when we're frustrated, when things are going quick, we can be swift to speak and slow to hear and cause a lot of damage in the process. And again, I realize these are common sense things, but folks, I know I forget them as well. I don't think I'm the only one. So this week, we think about this from your child. Think about the when. When they're by themselves. When you have proper time to do it in a proper way. And also after the emotions being deflated. This is Kirk Smith with ICHE's Take 5.